What is up everybody, Rooney Titan here, and welcome back to another installation tutorial for the Sonic Adders Unbelievable Shaders. And this is for version 1.47, officially. Um, the other previous tutorials I've done is the same version, but not official. So this one is going to be more nice and ready for 1.47, so, so yeah. So the first thing you want to do is to go to this web page right here. I'll be linking all the links in the description like I usually do, and... The first link will bring you to this page, the official Sonic Adder um, page uh, on Minecraft forums. So as you can see it says 1.4.7 and if you scroll down you will see that you need to um, download the core GLSL mod. So if you click this um, it will bring you to another page which looks like this which is a second link. Uh, but before you go here, just uh, click the uh, shaders pack here. Uh, so shader packs, SUS version 10, RC7 Ultra. Click this and it will bring you to your download page where you want to download it. So it's an ad file link so it supports him and all that stuff. So th after this it will bring you to a uh, Mediafire page. So just download it and save it to your desktop. Then you can just close it after. And then you want to go to the second link, which is this one. Um, it's going to be the second link in the description, so you, ha you don't have to worry about that. Uh, so yeah, on this page you can see uh, the releases here. Because you need to download one of these to make it work. The the one you want to download for right now, uh, as, of, as of right now at least, is the Shaders mod MC146 OFUD5. Uh, this one right here that I'm uh, making a mark on. on. <clears throat> so if you watch this later on, uh, as you can see, the OFUD5 is the version of Optifine you want. So, for for this one, you have to download um, 1.4.7 or 1.4.6 Optifine HD Ultra D5. So, I'm pretty sure it will say this next to whatever you're downloading, but this is the one I want to download right now because that's the latest one. It'll probably tell you which version you need to download of Optifine. Um, so, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to download this. And then save that to our desktop, and then go to the Optifine page and download what the this thing said. So uh, Optifine 1.4.6 HD Ultra D5. That's the one we need from Optifine. So on the Optifine page, we can find that just here. Um, I'm gonna use this one because I think the 1.4.7 one are having some issues. Um, 1.4.6 works on 1.4.7, so that's just fine. It doesn't matter. So just download, uh, click that, and then save that to your desktop, and I'll be um, showing you how to install it in a second. Alright, welcome back. Uh, here we got all the G files we just downloaded. So what you want to do now is to uh, to bring or copy the SUS version 10 RC7 uh, zip file you have here, uh, the first thing we downloaded, and just copy that. Then you want to go to present app data, present and hit enter, that will bring you here, and you can see .minecraft here. And in here we have bin uh, and all that stuff. So what you want to do is to make a new uh, new folder and name it shader packs. Then you open the shader packs folder you just created and you paste the file in here. So you can see the SUS, RC, uh, the SUS version 10 RC7. For the next step, you want to open Optifine, the zip file here, the second thing you downloaded, or maybe third, I can't remember, and then just drag it to the sides here, uh, and then you want to uh, go to bin, uh, which is where you made the folder shader packs previously, open bin, and then as you can see here you have minecraft.jar, you want to open this with uh, WinRAR, if you don't have WinRAR then this can't work for you. Uh, so you want to download WinRAR to make this possible, and then open it with uh, WinRAR. Uh, so yeah, open Minecraft.jar or Minecraft with WinRAR. So in the Minecraft.jar WinRAR file, uh, what you want to do is delete metainf. It's really important that you do this, otherwise, otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, this won't work for you. So delete metainf, then go back to the Optifine uh, folder or zip file. Copy all of the files in here. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, um, hold shift, press the top file, scroll down, and hold shift again and press the, 
the bottom one. Then press Ctrl C, go back to your Microsoft jar and paste it in here by uh, pressing Ctrl and V at the same time, or you know, paste it. And there we go. That's that done. All right. So after you install Optifine, uh, you want to open the last file we downloaded, uh, the GLSL, which is called Shaders Mods MC 1.4.6 or uh, whatever you downloaded. So open it. That will bring up another window with the WinRAR stuff and the files. Then you want to copy all of this. Like I said, press Shift, uh, select the top one, press Shift, and then press the bottom one, and press Control C to copy and Control V to paste. So you want to paste it in the Minecraft .jar, like so. And now we're ready to go. So open Minecraft like you usually do. Log in and all that stuff. And then go to uh, go to options shaders, and then select the SUS version 10 RC7 Ultra, like so. Press done, and then go to video settings. And I'll just have to pause it here for a second because I need to find the options. <laughs> All right, so I, I know the settings now. Uh, what you need to do is to go to video settings. Then you want to go to quality and make sure clear water is on. That's the only thing. And also connected textures needs to be off, uh, which it should be by default. But if not, then you should, you'll have to look for it here. It's it's here somewhere and then turn it off. Uh, I can't find it right now, but actually it's right there. Turn it off. There you go. Connected texture should be off and clear water should be on. And this mod may lag for you, so what I recommend is to put the render distance to short and performance to max FPS. Uh, and you can mess around with other stuff here, but make sure you check every now and then that the settings doesn't mess with how the world looks and uh, all that stuff. But yeah, uh, you're done. Look at this. It's beautiful. Just the color in general and... It, well, since I'm recording, everything is not rendering properly, but also it's my render distance as well, but... But yeah, it looks beautiful. It, it looks like real life when, on a sunny day. So, so yeah, there you have it. I think this works with every texture pack. I'm not quite sure, but I've been told it works with every texture pack. So that way, you don't have to need uh, you don't need to worry about uh, it not working with your texture pack. So, so yeah, that is it for now. And if this worked for you, then that's awesome. If it didn't, then feel free to add my Skype, which is Runic Titan, and I'll help you personally. Uh, on installing this mod and if you like the video make sure you like it <laughs> and if you want to check out more of my content I upload uh, Minecraft videos I upload uh, different kind of games so if you're interested in some more videos from me then you can go ahead and click my channel and and yeah other than that I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in my next one